Link files, also known as labels or Windows shortcut files, are typically files that are created by the Windows operating system automatically whenever a user opens their files, for example. These files are used by the operating system to secure quick access to a certain file. Link files are the shortcut files to point to an executable. The shortcut files are used as a direct link to an executable file. Hackers are using link files in a number of different ways to infect computers with malware. So here's some of the most common methods they use. The first one is malicious redirects, and this is where hackers can create malicious link files that redirect users to websites that contain malware. When a user is going to click on one of these link files, they're then taken to the malicious site, and it then downloads and installs malware on their computer. Malicious attachments is another way that hackers use link files. Hackers can also send malicious link files as attachments in emails. When a user opens the attachment, the link file executes the code and infects the computer with the malware. A drive-by download can be used by hackers to use link files to deliver malware through these drive-by downloads. This is a type of attack where malware is going to be downloaded to a computer without the user's knowledge or consent. When the user visits a malicious site, the site can exploit a vulnerability in the user's browser to download and install the malware. And that may be one of the reasons why web browsers are being constantly updated, sometimes every week and social engineering. Hackers can also use social engineering techniques to trick users into clicking on malicious link files. For example, they might send a phishing email that appears to be from a legitimate source. It might come from, say, a bank or a credit card company, and that email might contain a malicious link file, and when the user clicks it, it's going to take the user to a fake website that looks like the real one. Then the user enters their personal information on the fake site, such as a username and password, and then the hacker steals it. Link files are a common way for hackers to deliver malware because they're often overlooked by security software. Link files can be used to execute malicious code, so it's important to be careful when opening them. Let's take a look on our server how we can create a malicious link file. I'm going to start by going into File Explorer on my Windows 2022 server, and I'm going to right-click, say, into my shared folder, and I'm going to choose New Shortcut. I'm going to give this a name that will sound like someone should open this up. But first, I have to point this particular shortcut to a place that really does exist, and in this case, I want it to go to PowerShell, because I'm going to run something malicious within PowerShell. So click Next. I'm going to call this shortcut invoice and click finish. So now we see invoice, although it has this PowerShell icon. So I need to change that to something else. So I'm going to right click on the invoice and I'm going to go to properties. And from here, I'm going to click on change icon. So now I'm going to browse and choose to go to my Adobe location. So I don't want to select Adobe, acrobat.exe, I just want to go to the folder and then scroll down and I find the acrobat.exe here and I just select it here. And now I can go ahead and change this to say a PDF icon of my choice. And click apply. And now take a look, we now have an Adobe icon instead of a PowerShell icon. Next, what a lot of hackers will do is they'll put a bunch of spaces after a legitimate location. So we see that this ends in PowerShell.exe. So what I can do is I can put a bunch of spaces here just to make it look like it's way past that location. And now I'm going to paste in a hacker type of command. So I'll show you what this looks like in a text file first. And here you can see that it's going to put in a dash command out, string, input object, form.lnk. This is our link type of uh, area where the hacker can use to download a file silently. So take a look. Silently continue, download a file from this fake site that I just typed in called hackersite.in. And then this file is going to be downloaded to the user's computer. And this is just one of maybe hundreds of different ways that hackers can use link files to get you to download files 
without you even realizing it. So let's say you receive this PDF file in an email, you download it, and then you open it. Or maybe you even open it right from your email client. So now I'm going to paste this in. There we go. And it doesn't really matter how many spaces that you have after the PowerShell.exe. As you see here, you just want to have enough spaces to where the user can't see it if they scroll all the way over. There we go. One thing that the hackers won't be able to do is to delete the log file simply by downloading this file. So you should still see evidence in the event viewer under security if you've properly set up auditing. So now I'll click OK right here, and then there is our invoice, which looks exactly like something we would want to double click on. Before I check out the results of the invoice, I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. And you can see that a PowerShell box popped up. And if you've got a good antivirus, it should also, oh, there it is. There's the Windows Security Unauthorized Changes Blocked. So a good antivirus will go ahead and block that and keep that from happening. However, if you see a lot of these happening at once, then it's possible that the server or the client workstation may not have enough resources to catch all of them before everything gets downloaded. So I did a quick search for the word invoice. Here you can see invoice. LNK. You can also just do a search for any link files, any LNK files, and you can see that PowerShell was run. It doesn't necessarily show all the other things with it, but it does show the location of the invoice. So I could go there and right click and then choose the properties and then take a look and see what actually tried to happen or what did happen depending on the results. So you go to the properties and then you can see all these hacker type of commands here. Link files are notorious for spoofing email users into clicking and opening files that have a malicious payload. However, you can use your event logs to track them down and find out where they are and what they did.